Hey, this is Simeon from praisetracks.com, and it is no secret that I am a big fan of Piano Tech. I've done some videos over the years on Piano Tech, and it is just amazing how it continues with each new version to um, just improve on the piano models and the techniques that they use to create just some very beautiful experiences with their modeled piano. Um, not sampled, these are modeled. These are physically modeled pianos and they take up a lot less space on your hard drive and they're a lot uh, less CPU intensive as well. So I am playing the U4. Now the U4 is their uh, upright model. And we've been doing a lot of videos on the felt type of pianos, um, some various upright felt uh, cinematic type pianos. And I thought it would be fun to take a look at the uh, Piano Tech U4 upright and to see uh, what makes it a little different and uh, actually to see if we can get some felt-like cinematic sounds out of it. If it's your first time here, uh, welcome and uh, please subscribe and click on those notifications because I enjoy sharing these experiences with you. Uh, so let's just uh, play around with Piano Tech 6 and the U4. Okay, here we go. So we've got the uh, the U4 upright presets here, and this is just the midnight preset that I just pulled up. And you can hear just a lot of that characteristic upright piano sound, a lot of action, some action noises. And I am loving more and more these upright libraries because it just uh, is a sense, more intimate sense. Uh, it's a little, little what I call cozier. And with modeled pianos, you don't have sample layers to worry about because uh, it responds to your velocity. So let's go ahead and take a look at another preset in, U, in the U4. Uh, so let's go to the tall. And that's another thing about Piano Tech is that you can, you can actually adjust the physics, the string length and that type of thing. Uh, so let's just take a listen to this. change my velocity presets and when I just put that on there you can hear how nice and deep that is You just, I, I don't know what's, what, uh, <laughs> what's going to come out. I'm going to change this to the moderately fast keyboard. And that is a shape that I, yeah, I can tell a difference though. Let me just go back to the fast. Well, normal. Yeah, see that linear just feels good. Moderately slow. Yeah, even that kind of fills. And I can still play a little softer, but it, but I can see that it's still kind of, uh, let's just go ahead and just keep it on normal. Yeah, I just love, 
like that. I like that sound, the upright sound. And you hear the sustains just ringing out. So let's just look at the design uh, for this. Um, so the uh, string length is 1.29 meters. And then you can control that. And then sympathetic resonances and all of that stuff. You can voice and tune. That's it's just like you're opening up the a toolbox or a, or your own virtual piano designer, which is really interesting. Okay, let's go check out a couple more of these before we get into the the main event here. Uh, so this is the small, and I like the tool tips. It kind of helps you to understand what's going on. So this is the small. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Let's look at the um, the mic setup here. And you can see the room. Uh, they've got this um, overhead view of the room and then a, a front view. And you can see they've got the mics placed and they've got some uh, different mic models, U87s there. What is really cool with the U4 is that they have a movable wall. Uh, it, it's a movable wall. <laughs> so I watched some of the, uh, like, for instance, the Spitfire felt, and they're, they're at Air Studio, and, they, and it's very important that distance uh, that you have uh, the piano with the wall because the, the, the soundboard resonates, and it resonates out towards the... Uh, the wall and the wall sort of plays a big part in that. So uh, let's just move the wall way out here and just play the same thing. So first, let's just kind of put it back where it was and we'll kind of have a comparison. Okay, let's move the wall back and just hear the, the yeah, let's just put it right there. And you hear those reflections. Uh, you hear those reflections. So let's just do this. Let's just kind of move it back a little bit farther. You see this little uh, this little diagram here. This kind of shows you your your entire space that you can work with. Let's just move the wall as far back as we can. Listen to this. So the wall is way back. And you hear if you listen real close, you can hear those reflections. You hear those resonances, you hear the space, and the space makes a big difference. So let's go to another uh, U4 preset. So Americana, let's just see what that, uh, hear what that sounds like. <laughs>
So you've got a little bit of the overtones kind of tuned in with that one. And they did something with the velocity curve there. Uh, let's listen to one more. See, it's just amazing. In a club, in a hall, you know, I like a spacious sound. Uh, so let's check out the hall and let's look at the sound recording setup. Yeah, so they've just basically have the uh, U87 models just kind of set up in, a, in the player position. And uh, as far as effects, you've got like a nice uh, small hall there, a little delay. And uh, so let's check, let's check that out. Just enough enough ambience to kind of make make it nice. You can hear the dynamics when you get up in the top at the higher velocities, it gets real sharp. They've adjusted the hammers and you can see the, uh, the hammer hardness and that affects uh, the dynamics and the tone of the uh, piano when those hammers are hitting the strings. Let's get into what brought us here and is, that is the uh, phenomenon of the uh, felt, uh, felted uprights and felted grands. You know, one of the things, I'm just going to pull the default preset up here. Uh, let's just do the midnight. Let's just start there. You remember midnight here? And one of the things that um, that a lot of uh, users were, were talking about was the Celeste pedal. Now, the Celeste pedal is a, uh, I think other libraries are, call it the Sordino pedal. And what that does, it drops a, a piece of felt over the uh, strings and the hammers. And so that is this, um, this pedal here, the Celeste pedal. So I'm going to play with it up, and then I'm going to press it down. Okay, so we can hear a difference. Yeah, yeah, you hear the pedal release noises and that type of thing, and that's in the action section. Uh, you can adjust the key releases and sustain pedal noises, the damper, uh, pedal position, uh, that type of thing. So here we go. This is without the, the, uh, the Celeste or Sordino pedal. Now let me activate that. And when you press that, it, it just drops it and holds it in place for you. See, there you go. I'm going to do a little bit more and uh, is adjust this hammer hardness and um, going to just bring all of these down just a little bit. Yeah, just bring them down just a little bit in, in you know, just in relationship to each other. Okay, now, now listen to the difference that that makes. Isn't that beautiful? I think that is so nice. So in my searching, I found a gentleman, Lars Lentz, and he has really done some uh, extensive work in uh, these pianos, and he's got some great uh, 
great tips on how to how to get the most out of your sample libraries and piano tech especially and um, he's developed a series of presets and and I want to load one of those in because he does some things with the uh, with the hammer hardness and um, the the intensity of the overtones here so this is the felted upright soft now you can see some of the things that he's done with the with these here and also the impedance and the action noises so uh, so get ready this is this is really cool I'm going to turn that Celeste pedal off here. Just really nice, just real spacey. And you can adjust some of that in the, um, the effects. Let's put a plate. Let's see if we can just put a long plate on that. It's just really cool. And then he's boosted the low end a little bit on the um, on the reverb. Uh, let's just see something here. Let's just turn the duration down. It's like a two second. And I'm going to turn this. And he's got the string length just really way out there. Yeah, that's really kind of, that's really neat. And then I'm going to go back to, um, to the one I was, yeah, yeah, like, uh, like this one. Yeah. That's a little too much action noise, but we can change that by going here. Let's see, key noise releases and uh, And I've got the aging kind of turned down a little bit. And then we can bring it over here to make it uh, a little newer, a little fresher.
I just really think that's amazing. Yeah. in that. Man. And you've got the ham the hardness and that type of thing. Let's just kind of play with these just a little bit. That's the thing. And, and this is just the standard version of Piano Tech and the pro version just takes things and just blows it out to a whole uh, different level. Just, uh, let's just go back to one of the uh, regular upright. Uh, yeah, let's see. <laughs> Ruined? Yeah, we... <laughs> I've played some of those. <laughs> and, uh, you know, this is this is a long story, but it was like uh, I was playing with a group and we were we were at a church and all they had was like this upright piano. Uh, and, and I actually tried to tune it with a pair of vice grips and I definitely don't recommend doing that. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you see how sounds bring back memories, and uh, that's uh, that brought back that memory. I, I mean, it was one of those old uh, spinets, and it was like uh, the action started falling apart. It was just like they they really it needed a healing. It just really needed some help. Uh, so this is the jazz. Very smooth, very smooth. I'm never gonna stop the rain by complaining. We've been having a lot of rain here lately. Especially today. All right, let's just do one more, and um, we'll wrap up our journey with the U4. I just, I've really enjoyed this. Um, so player open. So this um, has that lid. Let's look at the. Um, yeah, you've got that lid open, and uh, once again, it's got those uh, mics kind of close. Just real close and tight. Okay. That's nice. And if you look, uh, if you look down at the um, at the at the bottom, I feel like a weatherman. Uh, if you look at the bottom of the uh, the bottom, um, as I'm looking at it, it's the, it's the bottom right. Yeah, the the bottom right corner. You'll see the chords. It'll kind of recognize chords every once in a while.
wow, that's great. I, I really enjoy this. Um, I really enjoy bringing these libraries and instruments to you uh, in a club. Okay, I mean, why not? Yeah, it's got a kind of a smoky sound. Uh, okay, so stereophonic. Oh yeah, okay, look at that. So it just opens that up. Okay, let me go back to one of those felt because, um, so you've got, um, You've got binaural, sound recording, monophonic, and stereophonic. Let's go to one of those um, felted ones and we'll wrap this up. Um, the upright soft. Now let's go to the stereo. Yeah, now listen to that. Try another one here. This is one that I kind of modified from uh, Midnight um, and uh, go stereophonic here. Yeah, and, that, and sometimes, you know, you've got to just use a little bit of that uh, pedal noise because you don't want that to get uh, in the way. I like that. And you can see I have the age uh, over here that just kind of gives it a little more, a little more detuned, a little more personality. Well, thanks for joining me today. It's just been great to spend some time with uh, Piano Tech's U4. You know, again, if it's your first time here, just uh, thank you for subscribing. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'm just so excited about uh, being able to bring these uh, libraries and instruments to you. So if you have any questions, just go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And I'll have links in the description to um, to the uh, presets that we talked about and to Piano Tech. And uh, until next time, uh, thanks again, and we'll see you real soon.